What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are here today to discuss the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and Sisters. So we're going to first talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, season 11, episode 13, Seasons Grillings. All right, you guys. Now, before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys are not already yet subscribed to the channel, then I'm going to need you guys to stop taking me out on this damn date and having me pay for it at the end of the date. Do me a big, big favor and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit all the buttons on the channel. Like them up. All right, you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, shall we? Oh, and also, I'm not going to do Real Housewives of New York this week because that episode literally pissed me off watching Ramona. I am not talking about New York this week. We'll be back next week with New York. All right, you guys. So this episode of Beverly Hills, the ladies, we pick up where we left off with the ladies last week. You guys remember that Sutton wanted all the ladies to come over to Dorit's house so they can talk about Erica and you know, this case with, you know, she's having with Tom, this this case that Tom has, right? And you guys know, I've said it numerous times on the channel that I am not a fan of Sutton. I don't like Sutton. But what I can say about Sutton with this, I'm on her side, right? I, I, I rocks with Sutton in this instance because Sutton and Garcelle and I believe Crystal are the only ones who are not facilitating and, you know, um defending Erica's bullshit ass lies. Now once again like I've said in plenty of reviews, I love Erica. I've loved Erica since she's been on this show. But we're going to be we're going to keep it we're going to say what we say over here on this channel, but we're going to keep it nice. That's going to be the slogan. We're going to say what we say, but we're going to keep it nice. And in this situation I'm going to say what I'm going to say, but I'm going to keep it nice, right? I love Erica but at the same time Erica know goddamn well she's lying. Like Erica knows she's fucking lying. So Sutton says, you know, um, Sutton says that she doesn't want to be around Erica in, in connection with this mess, which I completely understand what Sutton is saying. Like, if this is in the press, people are going to look at us because we are on this show, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. We're all associated with Erica. So people are going to look at us differently, which I'm not going to sit here and say that I look at the ladies any differently, right? I'm looking at them funny style because they're defending her shit. That's the only thing I'm looking at, funny style, is y'all f- defending the bullshit. Why are you defending it? This stuff is this is not something that you can defend. Now, like I've said in plenty of reviews, right, I don't believe Erica knew full well what Tom was doing, but I don't think Erica was oblivious to what Tom was doing as well either. I'm not going to sit here and say that. I believe Erica knew what Tom told her. That's what I'm going to say. I definitely believe she knew what Tom told her. And do I believe Tom told her a lot? Absolutely not. I don't think Tom told Erica much, but he told her some shit. Like, don't don't play me for a fool. Do not play me for boo boo the fool because I am not. So Rena says, "Well, how can it involve? How can it involve um, Sutton?" And she says, "Well, I don't care." Well, of course you don't care, Rena. Of course you don't care. I mean, says the woman who pimps out her daughters for a storyline every fucking season. Of course you don't care, Rena. I'm not shocked one bit. Now, does it involve Sudden? Absolutely not. Is Sudden's name going to get drugged through the mud? No. But the thing for Sudden and you ladies will be guilt by association. Like, have you never heard of that one? Like, Rena, miss me with the bullshit. Like, I wouldn't... Like, there's a sinking ship. I don't want to be a part of that sinking ship. And I, that's basically what Sudden is saying. She does not want to be a part of the sinking ship that is Erica Girardi at this point. I mean, story after story after story keeps coming out. The plane crash victims, the burn victims, the motorcycle guy, the women with the breast augmentation, the cancer patients. Shit keeps coming out. And then it's saying in the, in the press that $20 million was funneled into Erica Jane, Erica um, EJ um, LLC, EJ uh, Global LLC. Girl, fuck you Renna and I love me some Renna but I gotta say it in this episode fuck Renna <laughs> fuck Renna like I just don't I don't like it's one thing to you know be by your friend's side that's one thing right I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh you guys are wrong for being by her side but don't facilitate the bullshit is what you doing 
So then they talk. Then they start talking about the fact that one of Tom's partners left because his wife told him that it looked like some shit was about to go down, and then his son-in-law left. What the fuck does that tell you guys? That somebody knew what was going on long before they knew. And then you know, um, suddenly seeing that the stories don't add up, right? And that's where um, Crystal co- chimed in. She was like, "Yeah, because you know that da- that dumbass story that Erica told them about Tom going over the motherfucking cliff." And being unconscious for 12 hours, but she found him, but he called her. That doesn't make sense. And then the dementia story that it was three years ago, but then they're saying this stuff was 10 years ago. But also the lawyers are saying that this is three years ago. So now they're thinking that Erica and the lawyers are in contact with one another, which they absolutely are. You guys cannot pay me to believe that Erica and them lawyers ain't having contact with each other, right? So Rena. Renna, 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 Renna. I'm going to need you to put your top and bottom lips together and put the shut to the up. Okay? Because she's talking about, you know, um, they're talking about, you know, Eric isn't telling the truth, right? I think, you know, what, what it is with Eric, I'm not going to say, well, I'm going to say she's not telling the truth. She is not telling the truth. But I think what it is for Erica is, Erica couldn't keep track. What it is is Erica could not keep track of the lies she was telling. I believe, I can't even say I believe anything she ever said. I believe Erica, you know, started saying things and she's like, oh shit, I said this. And that's what it is when it comes to someone who lies. When you lie, you got to tell another lie to cover up the first lie you told. But you got to remember the first lie that you told. And that was the issue with Erica. Erica couldn't keep up with her lies. So then Brenda's like, well, um, is it, well, how did you guys feel about Denise? The situation with Denise and Eric is apples and oranges, boo. Stop playing with me. Apples and motherfucking oranges. The situation with Denise was that y'all thought she slept with that trash box, Brandy Glanville. And y'all believe that. The, here's the issue with me with that. Y'all believe that trash box as Brandy Glanville, but y'all have said for years that Brandy Glanville's a fucking liar. Renna, you and Brandy had never got along. And, Ren, and I mean, you and Brandy never got along. Y'all all said Brandy was a fucking liar, which we all know Brandy's a liar. But y'all sat there and literally, you gonna compare the situations, right? That Denise, you gonna talk about Denise and um and Erica? There's no comparison, boo. Zero. Like zero comparison. The fuck. Like, there is no comparison with that situation, like, whatsoever. Tom is being accused of taking money from his clients. You guys accuse um, Denise of having an, uh, having an affair with Trashbox Brandy. Where's the comparison at? Oh, that's right. There is no fucking comparison. Get the fuck out of here. Um... So now they all want to ask Erica what she knows. Y'all got it. Y'all are playing in my fucking face. Like y'all are literally playing in my fucking face. Playing in my motherfucking face. We're going to move on because I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, my little cousin is messing with me. He just stuck his tongue out at me big head behind. But I love him. All right, you guys. So let's talk about Garcelle real quick. I got heightened with that whole situation with, with the ladies. So let's talk about um, Garcelle, right? So we see Garcelle. It's not much with Garcelle, so I'm not going to try to prolong it or anything. But I will say the scene with Garcelle and her family was so cute, right? So this is around Christmas time. So I don't think they were having Christmas dinner, but this was around Christmas time. And her son, Oliver, and his girl... Is it his wife or his girlfriend? I don't want to mislabel it. I'm going to say his wife, to be respectful, right? His wife, they come over with their son and their other three kids. And the one thing I will say about that is I love the fact that, you know, her son has taken on the role of father of, you know, three kids that are not his. I have the utmost respect for men who do that. I really do. Because it takes it takes a real man to step up and raise another man's child and, you know, love the child as if the child is his biologically, right? I have the utmost respect for men who do that. Um, so Garcelle's made traditional Haitian food. I would love to try it. That food did look good. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. 
the food look good and I'm a picky eater. And so for me to say that that food looked good and I'm a picky eater, it looked good, right? So yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say for Garcelle. Like I said, it just wasn't much. It was just a, it was just a cute little scene. So let's move on. All right, guys, next let's talk about Dorito. I'm over her. I'm over Dorit. But I'm so ready for, I am, I will say with Dorit, I am so ready for Garcelle to tell her, fuck you for that. Because Dorit in this episode pissed me off too. I'm, and I'm going to get to Dorit. We're going to talk about Miss Dorit Kimsley and that fake ass accent. Girl, fuck you. So Dorit is getting her glam done and Kyle FaceTimes her. So Kyle tells, um, you know, Dorit that Teddy's coming. I'm like, oh, Teddy's coming. Now, I don't have an issue with Teddy. I don't dislike Teddy. I did think Teddy was a bit boring. But I think the thing with Teddy was that Teddy was... Teddy is kind of similar to... um, Teddy is kind of similar to uh, Eva being pregnant while she was a housewife. So she really couldn't do much. Was she, was she pregnant her first season? I don't remember. You guys can let me know. I don't remember if Teddy was pregnant her first season. But I know her last season, she was definitely pregnant. So, um, you know, she asked, is, is Erica coming? And, you know, Kyle says, yeah. She said, the last time I talked to Erica, you know, she was coming. And she says, well, have, have anyone to- has anyone told her about our conversation with Sutton? Nope, nobody told her about the conversation with Sutton. So I'm like, damn, y'all gonna blindside the fuck out this woman at this damn dinner? Okay, I, I mean, I would be if I was Erica, I would be pissed coming into this dinner and y'all talking about this book, telling me y'all had a whole ass meeting about me without me, girl. I would have told y'all go to hell and I would have got up and walked the fuck out of the room. Fuck all of y'all. Like at this point, fuck all y'all. But let's move on and wrap up the episode. And this is gonna be, uh, I feel like I'm gonna talk like I did a few minutes ago. So y'all just get your snacks ready because we finna go in. Uh, all right you guys so kyle's party right i loved kyle's house it's so beautiful you know it just reminded me of times with my mother right when my mom when i was younger we used to decorate the house in christmas we used to decorate the house for christmas we used to put christmas lights and decorations in our front yard i actually still have home videos of us when we did it it's just it's just it was a time man i really do miss my mother so much right so, you know, Garcelle was the first woman to show up to the house. And she asked, you know, Kyle, was Erica coming? And she says, well, you know, to my knowledge, Erica is still coming. I, you know, she didn't tell me she wasn't coming. So then we see as all the ladies show up to the house. And then Teddy comes in and producers <laughs> ask, you know, Garcelle, what's her, her issue with Teddy? She says, she's just annoying. She's like a gnat. So then Crystal comes in. We find out, that, which I had already heard this, that Crystal... And Teddy knew each other. And that's why people were saying that, you know, Crystal went after um, Sutton because, you know, she was getting payback for um, her friend of 10 years and Teddy. So, like I said, all the ladies show up. And then Erica is one of, I think Erica was the last ladies to show up, right? So Sutton is talking to Garcelle. She says, did you speak to her? She says, she winked at me. She says, well, do you want to speak to her? She says, no, it might be uncomfortable. It might be, you know, awkward, right? So then Sutton asked Garcelle, like, are you nervous about talking to her? She says, no, I'm not nervous about talking to her. She said, you just might be a little bit awkward talking to her. So I'm going to keep my distance, right? So then ladies sit, they, they sit down. I don't know if the ladies even actually ate their food before this came out, right? So Erica starts talking about the, at some point, I don't know how it came up, but Erica started talking about the lawsuits, right? And she said that, you know, more lawsuits are going to keep coming. Well, how do you know that? And I'm glad Sutton even picked, I'm glad Sutton said something because she was like, more losses are going to come. And they were like, oh, I'm so sorry, Erica. Nah, boo. Uh-uh. That ain't what we finna do. That is not what we're about to do. What we're about to do is we finna sit here and ask her, more losses are coming. How the fuck you know that? How would? How are you privy to more losses coming? But Sutton chimed in. She's like, so... You know, are you in contact with the lawyers? You know, like, do you know stuff that's going to hit the press before it hits the press? And Erica got defensive. Erica got defensive and she was like, no, I don't know things that come out before they hit the press. Girl, a lot don't care who tell it. 
<laughs> so then they talk. They started talking about the stories that you know have come out, right? And at this point, Erica, I, I looked at her. Her demeanor changed. She got defensive, and she shut down. And she said she doesn't want to answer questions. So what are you gonna do when you go on the stand? You gonna say you don't want to answer questions on the stand? Okay, Erica, right? So Garcel, 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 Garcel. I got to give it up to my girl, Garcel, right? So Garcel, she looked at Dorit because Dorit's like, oh, Erica, you know, we don't want to pry. And Garcel was like, girl, since when? Because that is not what you were saying the other night. That is not what you said the other night. Garcel repeated that. That is not what you said the other night. I'm like, yes, Garcel, stick it to her and that fake ass accent. So then Dorit says, okay, Erica, well, you know, we all met the other day at my house. You know, Sutton wanted us all to meet. And, you know, this is where Sutton... Um, so Sutton says, you know, she just basically wants to see where all the ladies stood. And Erica got upset, and then she actually became a little bit sarcastic, right? So, um, I'm with, Sutton, she's not my favorite, but I was with her. Now, my thing was the fact that Renna and Dorit were throwing Sutton under the bus. I'm like, but Dorit... You and Sutton at her at your house were on the same fucking page about the the victims. This is about the victims. But now you backtracking and you you know you backpedaling and you pussy popping. You backtracking what you said. Like girl, shut the fuck up. So then, you know, they all some I don't know who it was that mentioned the fact that they they looked into legal advice at this point. <laughs> so Erica's like, well, okay, well, who's looked into legal advice? Well, Sutton said, you know, I, t I talked to a lawyer and asked him, you know, what this means. So, at this point, it looks like, rent, not random, Sutton's looked into a fine, talked to a lawyer. Um, Kyle says she talked to Faye Resnick's husband. She also, uh, also, Dorit has talked to somebody. So, y'all miss me with the bullshit. Like, y'all are coddling this woman and why? So, now here's my thing. Erica said that, you know, she couldn't see the books for her LLC, nor could she see Tom's. I'm like, girl, okay, I don't believe that, but whatever you want to say. And then once more, like I said, Dorit, she keeps backtracking. But the thing with Erica is, Erica is digging a hole deeper and deeper every time she speaks. Like, she says things, and I'm like, girl, it would be easy if you just said, no, com I don't want to talk about it, no comment, but, you know... With the likes of Sutton and Garcelle, they're not going to let up on it. And I'm actually here for it, right? So then, you know, um, they start saying, well, you know, it's about the, you know, Garcelle and Sutton are saying, it's about the victims. You know, yes, you know, you might not have known anything, but at this point, it's literally about the victims. And that's really what this, this whole thing is about. It's about the victims. I'm not trying to crucify. I'm not trying to persecute. I'm not trying to do anything when it comes to Erica. My whole issue is there are victims out there that got settlement money, but they never got their, they got, got settlement offers. Let's say that. They got settlement offers, but they never got their money. And it's said, it's, it's alleged that Tom funneled that money into you. But then here y'all are coddling this white woman when there are people that have been victimized. The fuck? Like, y'all got to stop playing in my face with that shit. Y'all really got to stop playing in my face. Like, are y'all afraid of Erica or something? Like, what the fuck? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. It makes absolutely no sense. And I'm just baffled. I'm confusion. I'm befuddled. It's just a lot of things that I am. And it really, you know, the people that are befuddling me the most, if that's even a word, is Renna and um and Dorit. Renna and Dorit. Renna, the queen of own it, is not telling Erica to own it. Well, like I'm saying, I'm not gonna continue I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh my god, Erica knew Erica knew everything that Tom was doing. I'm not gonna say that because I don't believe that. But I also don't believe that Erica was not privy to some of the things he was doing. She may not have known full well where all the money was coming from. But you never had a question about, damn. You, like, never had a question about, like, damn. Okay. Tom bought this. 
how did he get that money? Because that, and then you, you might, you know, like Google say how much it costs. Like, damn, where did Tom get that money from? That never crossed your mind? Okay, Erica, I me mean, if you say so, girl. I'm, I'm, I'm going to believe what you're telling me, right? Not really, but that's it, you guys. Please let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you guys are notified when I drop anything else. And share your video. And until the next one, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands, wear a mask, socially distance, you guys. Be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.